Take two contrasting leaders, President George Bush, uh, whose policies I didn't like, and, uh, and President Barack Obama, who sometimes wasn't the greatest administrator in the world. Uh, but both of them are people of character, uh, and they've been true to who they are. I can disagree with their policies, or I can disagree with the way they run the government, but that doesn't mean they're not people of character, and I think they're quite authentic. Unfortunately, a lot of times in politics with the high media intensity and the long cycle we have, I mean, right now we're in the middle of a political campaign that's running 16 months, 18 months, that's way too long. How about six weeks, like the Brits do it? But in, you do test people in that period, but you get into a lot of uh, media playing the media. I'm not blaming the media here, I'm just saying they play the media and it creates a lot of attention and they say dumb things. You know, today's world, everything you say is gonna come back to haunt you. Everything I say on this show is like recorded for all time. Everything I write in my new book, Discovery of True North, I've gotta stand behind for all time. I can admit I was wrong, but uh, you know, you said it, I said it, and it's with you. And so I, I think I'd like to see more authentic people running for president and holding political office. Unfortunately, I think a lot of authentic people, leaders have gotten turned off by the whole process. Donald Trump is an amazing phenomenon. Uh, I didn't like you know, him especially, didn't think he was authentic when he was running his companies because it was all about him. It was a big ego trip with Donald. And it's all about charisma or even fame charisma or trying to look good, trying to attract people uh, to you who's not about serving other people. And uh, then he did The Apprentice Show, and I didn't like the approach I've got fired. Now he's running for office. I don't know if he's ever held an office in his life. So he certainly is not credentialed to be President of the United States. I'd hate to think his uh, fingers on the uh, nuclear bomb. Uh, that would worry me a whole lot. But actually, he'll say one thing and then say something totally different a few months later. He says whatever suits him. And there's a lot of anger there towards different groups, and he really is dividing various groups, exact opposite of what I believe. I believe we accept people for who they are. If you're born outside the United States, if, you have, if you're a different gender, different color, different sexual preference, uh, we accept people for who they are. It's what happens to the person inside, not attacking people and kind of generically. I think this is wrong, and so I'm not at all happy with uh, the Donald Trump phenomenon. But I admit it's, it's uh, attracted a lot of people and many other people are angry at the government too, so he's attracting them. <laughs>